You have returned to the real world. Welcome back. <sighs> Thank God. We're back. Yeah, I dragged you around a lot, huh? Ugh, sorry, man. <sighs> I'm dead tired. How are you holding up? <sighs> Me too. And I'm gonna sleep like a rock when I get home. But damn, if what we saw was for real, oh, this is gonna get good. I totally remember the faces of the guys Kamoshida was treating like slaves. Once we make him fess up to any physical abuse, Kamoshida will be done. So, wanna help me look for those guys or any witnesses? It'll be cake compared to the monsters we've gone up against till now. Hey, so, if you're thinking of laying low because you got a record, I don't think that'll help. Everyone already knows. They totally got you pegged as a criminal. Kamoshida opened his damn mouth. No one else besides a teacher could have leaked it that fast. It doesn't matter if it's a student or a club. That asshole just wrecks things he doesn't agree with. Just like he did with me. No one will take anything I say seriously. Still, those rumors about him getting physical might be real. And after seeing Kamoshida's distorted heart thing in person, there's no way I can just sit back. I'm counting on you. Don't worry, I'm hyped about this too. Acting as a phantom thief would have been more efficient alone. You could have gone about it that way. However, you did not. There are merits to having associates. That's what you decided. Am I wrong? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the chariot persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Oh, right. I haven't eaten anything since lunch. It'd be weird splitting off now, so why don't we grab a bite somewhere? Meat, man. Just follow me. I mean, I totally gotta hear about your past. What? The hell, man? How much shittier can that asshole get? Are you for real? If it was me, I wouldn't calm down until I punched that dick in the face! So, you left your hometown, and you're living here now, huh? Huh, we might be more alike than I originally thought. I don't got a record like you do. I mean, th that's not the point. I guess it's how we're treated like a pain in the ass by the people around us. Like we don't belong. I did something stupid at school before, too. The place you're living now is in Yongen, right? It's rush hour on the subways. I suggest you kill some time before heading home. What the hell, man? You barely touched your food. Let me do it. I gotta thank you for helping me. Anyways, I got your back like you got mine from tomorrow on. As long as we do something about Kamoshida, I'm sure we'll both feel better about being at school. Oh, yeah! Tell me your number. Oh, chat ID, too.
Just you wait, Kamoshida. We're gonna start right away tomorrow. First, let's hit up those guys that were kept as slaves. The volleyball rallies tomorrow, huh? <laughs> Shit's recommended by Kamoshida. Makes me want to gag. But thanks to that, we got no classes in the afternoon, and we can walk around unnoticed. Well, I guess we can work out the details tomorrow. Come on, you gotta eat more. There's tons of ginger here. been sleeping well lately. Whenever I close my eyes, I keep thinking about too many things. Shio. Nationals are coming up soon, so I keep thinking, should someone like me really be on the starting lineup? Don't worry. Just be confident in yourself. Your skills have been recognized. It's all because you work harder than anyone else. <laughs> Yeah, volleyball's all I have after all. More importantly, was that injury okay? It looked really swollen. No, it's nothing. It's normal. Especially since a meet's coming up. <sighs> Sorry to interrupt, Suzui. Um, Mr. Kamashita told me to get you. Huh? What does he want? He didn't say. On, I... <sighs> It'll be fine. I bet it's a meeting about the starting lineup or something. <sighs> yeah. Well, I better go. Yep, good luck! Hang in there, Shio. Listen up.
Welcome to the Velvet Room. I thought about resuming our previous conversation tonight. That is why I have summoned you. What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? Ah, glad to hear it. It seems you have nerves of steel. Your rehabilitation determines if ruin can be stopped. Yet, such a feat cannot be done by you alone. But today, you entered a partnership with someone who awoke to the same power, haven't you? Involving yourself with others is an important foundation for your recovery. You've done well. That said, I am not advising the formation of superficial relationships. It must not be a frivolity, but a ring of those who would, by morals or faith, lend you their strength. In other words, they are bonds with those who have been robbed of their places to belong. The expansion of said ring will, in return, help you mature as well. Personas are the strength of heart. The stronger the bonds that surround you, the more power your personas will gain. There are countless people in the city who have talents that a weakling like you doesn't. You better rack that noggin of yours and get them on your side. We'll change that into power. Indeed, you should be prepared to use even myself, or your ambitions will not come to fruition. <laughs> we have a deal then. become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the full persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Understand it all in due time. Continue devoting yourself to your rehabilitation. Now this conversation's over. Get lost, inmate. I can't do this. Yeah. <laughs> 
hasn't changed a bit. Hmm? Uh, pretty boring. Right? Sorry. Hey, are you all right? Someone, take him to the nurse's office. You get that saw. He'll pay soon enough. All right, let's resume the match. it. Who cares?
I can't do it. For a sec. It'll be quick. Anyway, what's with you? Like how you were late the other day was a lie and all? There's that weird rumor about you, too. What do you want with him? Right back at you. You're not even in our class. We just happen to get to know each other. What are you planning on doing to Mr. Kamoshida? Huh? I see. I get ya. You're all buddy-buddy with Kamoshida after all. This has nothing to do with you, Sakamoto. If you found out what he's been doing behind your back, you'd dump him right away. Behind my back? What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> you wouldn't get it. Anyway, people are already talking about you two. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but no one's gonna help you. I'm warning you, just in case. That's all. Why she gotta be so aggressive all the time? We just went to the same middle school. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. I had no luck on my end. What about you? Did anything like someone's name turn up? Special coaching, huh? True. I always see the guy covered in bruises. Let's go talk to him before he leaves then. Hey, got a second? Sakamoto? And you too. Come on, we just want to chat. Kamoshida's been coaching you, huh? You sure it's not just physical abuse? Certainly not! What are you talking all polite for? Anyways, we saw him spike you today, right in the face. That was just because I'm not good at the sport. Still, that doesn't explain all the other bruises you've got. They're from practice! Is he forcing you to keep quiet? That's... What's going on here? Mishima, isn't it time for practice? Uh, I'm not feeling well today. What? Maybe you're better off quitting then. You're never going to improve that crappy form unless you show up to practice. Didn't you hear? He ain't feeling well. Well, Mishima, are you coming to practice or not? I'll go. As for you... Any more trouble, and you'll be gone from this school for sure. Bastard. Same goes for you. Didn't the principal tell you to keep in line? <laughs> Just don't get in the way of my practice. All these unsettling rumors are making the students anxious, after all. That's your own goddamn fault. <laughs> this won't get us anywhere. Let's go, Mishima. Shujin Academy is a place where those with aspirations come to learn. Unworthy students like yourselves don't have any right to be here. Get with the program. Yes, sir. That asshole. He's gonna pay for this. There's no point. Huh? Proving that he's physically abusing us is meaningless. Everybody knows. Principal. Parents, they all know, and they all keep quiet about it. This has got to be a joke. Don't be a pain. You don't understand what I'm going through. Shouldn't you, of all people, know that nothing's going to help? <sighs> Damn it. I'll try one more time to persuade the other guys. That's... 
you. 